MCS belt. Head inside Pizza Hut Stadium. Young Kiv, Serious Mo, winner's final. Here from Arlington, we're so happy to have all of you along with us for the ride. Nick Mazesco, lights out. Michael Skimbo, and in this game, it's to the team skim that we have seen so much here in regs, the Houston Texans and the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, yeah, I mean, those are two of the best teams. If you're a passer, you kind of want to use the Texans. If you're a runner, you want to use the Cowboys, and that's what we're seeing. Um, but, man, I'm excited for this matchup just because they're lab partners, they're boys. I, I, I mean, I just really want to see who adjusts better this game. It's, this is going to be a really fun game. Right, I was going to ask you, do you think we're going to see what we typically see from Kevin Moe, or, are, or do they have to open it up a little bit because they know exactly what they're going to run? I, I think they got to open it up because honestly, I haven't watched a lot of Kiv's game, but I have never seen him even run a that setup yet all tournament. True. That's the first time I've seen a motion over a wide receiver on a drag. Second and ten for Kiv. Looks over the middle, finds DeAndre Hopkins for a first down and skim. Uh, Lights and I were talking about those times in between days, from day one to day two, day two to day three. That's where these guys can find some wrinkles to bring into the next day and take them to the next level. Yeah, and they got an awesome crew to go along with it. Those guys with all those great Madden minds, they're going to find something in between days. And it's just honestly no surprise they're here. I mean, top players will always find a way to get there. They'll be upset. You know, all, everyone will lose. Top players will lose. It, it happens. But at the end of the day, the top players, for the most part, are going to make the deep runs. I like that play right there by the, the smart routed out to Hopkins. Uh, he noticed man coverage. He actually didn't press. He faked the press. But Hopkins is going to win that one-on-one -on -one matchup every time. So if Moe is going to continue with cover one, look for Hopkins. First and ten, Watson, the skate artist out of the pocket, slides down. Gain of seven on the play. And a light Kiv was saying in our interview with Evan Rayner that this is one of his best friends. Oh, yeah. How tough is it going up against one of the guys not only you live with every day, but one of the guys you call one of your best friends? I think I want to ask Skimbo and, uh, that too because he's faced Dubby a lot in big matches. I, f I feel like when I uh, face Stiff, I was happy when I lost and he beat me. Uh, I think you're happy for your friend regardless, but at the end of the day, you want that belt. They both have one belt. You got to try to find a way to get two. Yeah, I don't mind losing to my friends, but I don't like losing to Dubby because he's just going <laughs> to talk about it forever and ever. And I still hear it, and it's just annoying. <laughs> what? Dubby runs his mouth? Unheard of. Third Great. and three. There's the pressure from the serious Mo defense. Westry with the Almost. blitz. And now an early fourth and ten for Young Kiv looking to not get stopped on the first drive of this winner's final. Oh, fourth down, no huddle, man. Everyone does it, I swear. I feel well, like that was a bad decision, though. I, feel I like do, too. I don't know why they, people just do it. I don't know why. I, I, I'm not that type, though. Watson in the shotgun. Bunch to the right side. D-Hop, Ballone on the left side. Duke Johnson on the left hip of the escape artist. Deshaun Watson steps up, pressure gets there, and an early stop for the serious Mo defense. I think Kib was regretting that no huddle. You could see that he no huddled, was about to hike, and then he just wasted the clock. It was getting down to like four seconds on the shot clock, and he, he didn't want to take the delay of game, so he hiked it, but that was not his best routes that he could possibly have on fourth down. Bad decision, Mo gets the first stop. As you take a look at our Snickers replay, you're off your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. Serious Mo comes out. Eye formation. Gotta watch out I have a feeling we're going to see a little bit of Zeke yeah. Elliott on this drive. I was drive. about to say, you've got to watch out for the dive when you set up your defense like this. I, you know, I, 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 lab, I felt actually pretty good coming to this tournament with the run. It's all I lab for for like weeks. And when I see this, when I'm on defense, I'm worried about the dive right now to see what Mo calls. It's so funny because that's exactly me. I feel good about the stretch. I feel good about the dive from other sets, but the dive from I form tight is so hard to stop. Yep. One more time and a little pressure from the edge to bring down wow. Zeke. Well, if he can get a linebacker to come in right. free, not like you can get that on a stretch. Right. But if you get that kind of collapse on a dive before he can really get out of there or ISO or whatever the run's called, yeah, this is this is going to be a good game. Especially when the fullback game. isn't really helping on that. Yeah, this is. Insane. The crowd here inside the Esports Stadium in Arlington I'm, is locked in. This if I'm Mo, final. If I'm Mo, I'm running the ball. If I don't get it, take my three and let's yep. get right back on defense. Hand off to Zeke. Oh, it's going to be yeah. close. Rolled over Clowney. The no oh, huddle. The no huddle inches. fourth. Here we go. <laughs> Good press right there by Kiv to prevent the RPO slant. And it's going to be Zeke. And he's going to pick up the first down. Runs through DJ Reader. So Mo's a gambler. Some people could take three right there just to make sure they have the lead against Kiv. 
but Mo likes to take chances. He feels confident in Zeke Elliott with the arm bar, picking up one yard, and that's exactly what happens. Heard it here first. Both Sirius Mo and Kenny Rogers, they're the gamblers. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. I swear, you can think you have run defense. <laughs> All it takes is that one to pop off, and you're, you're th thinking, don't happen again. Motioning left to right now. Back to the right side, and that's Pollard into the game. Not quite the runner that T. Kelly is. No, not, not even close. Something I, I got to talk about, because I want to talk about it earlier, because Kiv already did it, and Mo just did it, because it's Pollard. If you guys don't want to fumble as much, just hold RB. Yep. Okay. You you run just about the same speed. You hold you hold down RB. You won't you, your fumble chances go way way down, and that's just a pro tip out there. I just wanted to say real quick. I was gonna say it on the kick returns. You'll see a lot of these pro guys are gonna hold down the RB button so they don't fumble. Because when you first start playing this game, you're like, I'm tired of fumbling on kick returns. Yada yada yada. Like people complain about the fumbles, but there's a way to avoid it. Uh oh. Oh come on, baby. And both of them do a pretty good job at it. Yeah, exactly. I agree. If you don't have jukebox, if you don't have arm bar and you're not looking to like fake out the defender or stiff arm the defender exactly. just hold that ball carrier rb right bumper and just you know you could still run fast and if you don't get tackled it, won't I, fumble. i feel like this is the same situation i feel like most should run right here and and get back on defense if it, but if it's inches obviously go for it like he did last time right. i just feel like he's gonna run here and look at the pressure that's from the now former houston texans jamie cloud <laughs> and that's matt and 20 right there in a nutshell okay so he's trying to arm bar him now you got Clowney with his ability to be able to wrap up because he has that ability where he can't break it. So you had the arm bar go against the ability versus Clowney, and Clowney's ability gave him the upper hand right there. Because if that's not Clowney, that's a stiff arm, and he could be going to the crib right there. So that's honestly Madden 20, and just right, that play is is it. Yeah, and I like that, you know, that specific defense, it's known if you're in the cover two out of the 146, Clowney uh, in that position. Uh, oh! Ferguson up the middle. Big return. He's still in space. Is there a chase down tackle available? Let's How go. about the special wow. teams being special for young Kim? And, and I'm just saying pro tips here, man. A lot of these people would not hold RB and they see they're about to get hit. They would just go da down and give up on the right. kick return. These guys are holding down RB, still, still trying to find fast. a hole. And he, like right there, he hit it. That's a, that's a top level stuff that he's doing. Shout out to my boy Love Taylor you. Gang. He knows who he is. He's the one that got me on it. And a lot of these people do it. Young Kim going to change his gamer tagged a young crib with that kick return 7-3 no need for the offense as Mo gonna have to respond to a huge momentum changing play look at this one more time and this is the tough part about you know stopping these kick returns is sometimes the lanes just line up right I mean that was still great protection holding the RB finding the open lane and it's tough for Mo because he's a defensive player. Like he that. took the three. He felt good. Oh, I'm going to stop him on defense. I'm a defensive-minded guy. Well, I just gave up a kick uh -oh. return. Uh -oh. But way to answer back uh -oh. right here. Uh -oh. Here that one. Here goes Zeke. Down the left side, Ryan Body Calhoun somehow makes the tackle on Zeke Elliott, but he picks up a big <sighs> chunk. This is the worst because I consider myself a defensive player, even though everyone talks about my offense. I know Kiv's a defensive player, too, even though his offense right. is unreal. I've talked to him plenty of times. The worst thing is when you give up a free play touchdown. It's just demoralizing. 7-3, your score. And after a game where Sirius Mo was talking a lot to Beast Mode Mac, he is locked in and quiet with the operative word for now. Wow. That dive defense looks serious. I was wrong. He's got dive defense. Yeah. The stretch work, don't be surprised if Mo goes back to the flip stretch or something here. Right. I love what Kiv's doing. He's pretty much bringing everyone into the box. That's the negative if you're running a heavy offensive set. He has literally all 11 guys in the box. Well, 10. Wait. Might be 11. I think it's a stretch to the left. Second and nine. Hmm. Four. He'll be wide open. Mo. Stretch to the right. Goes yep. up the middle. Oh my God, that's so Clowny. lucky. Takes a tackle. And, and oh, Skip, so lucky, let me ask you, you played with oh, these Houston man. Texans. What do you like uh, about this team? Why was this early. the team you went with in Rams? Well, I want to play with them probably next week because Clowney, I think, is gone, right? Is that like a secure sure thing? He's gone. He's in so Seattle. So you see right there, Clowney just got matched up against him again and brought him down because he has secure tackler or whatever it's called, right? Uh, but the Texans are good. J.J. Watt, their speed's not fast, but when you have Watt and you have Clowney, you can get it done. 7-3, your score, third and five. Serious Mo, a little bully ball up the oh, middle. Yeah. Inches, but he's inches. gonna be stopped just short. Fourth and inches. Gotta think, this is 
go for it 10 out of 10. Yeah, but Kiv has proven he has good dive defense, and dive That's would scary. be the typical call right here to get one yard. <laughs> and Do you, you take the chance and go stretch? I don't know, that's scary. scared to call stretch because right. you could easily get blown up there. I, this is tough. See what he decides to do out of the strong eye formation. Fourth and inches. Amari Cooper, a little back and dive. forth shuffle. Dive up the middle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Give him six on the play. I like that he motioned the receiver to make sure he had that additional block. He had the fullback, and then he had the receiver coming in. So you have two lead blockers. If Kiv would have shot the gap with his user, one of those two probably would have got him, ensuring that short down, first down. And, and I know a lot of people don't enjoy this kind of Madden being ran, but, you know, I don't mind it because if we watch this. Oh, missed tackle. Oh, man. That's Clowney. That's Clowney again. Clowney. But tackle. But, uh, <laughs> Texas is going to miss him in Madden. He, yeah, but like I'm saying, like what Mo did there, that, that everyone thinks he's just running the ball. So he was motioning his wide receiver on the side of the tight end. Normally when people do that, it's a stretch. Yep. And this is what's scary about stretch. There's the stretch. Ooh. Ooh. Bradley Roby. Big, big hit. Zeke's getting tired too. Yeah. But, ah, but what I'm saying is he disguised it like it was a stretch. I know it just looks whatever, but and then he calls dive. Yep. So I'm sure Kiff sees that and thinks stretch might be coming all of a sudden. He starts shooting out there, dive right up the middle on that fourth. It down. truly is a, a play calling chess match with what looks you give and defensively. He's wide open on the at. left. Second and goal. Does he dare throw it on second you and goal? Throw. You don't throw. Stretch left side. Oh, good cut right in the lane. Zeke the Freak into the end zone. Serious Mo back on top. If we see a replay here, I just want us to watch 89 Jarwin block, okay? He threw the guy out of the way and just went to the next level just like that. I hope we get to see that. Blake Jarwin. Look out for him this year in Dallas. I know they, they got Jason Witten back, but Jarwin, big piece of that Dallas Cowboys offense. So I want to note that Sirius Mo not only was able to score, but he was able to dwindle that clock down only 40 seconds, and Kib only has one timeout. I know Kib is an explosive passer, as we look, see the replay. Look at Darwin, 89 block, and then he goes, gets, in, and he does just he enough, enough to yep. distract his user. That's unbelievable block. Sometimes it's not about engaging the block, it's just showing it. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And you don't think Mo want to give up another kick return? Pooch kick to the your, your full bag. He, yep. he knows better. Perfect. Do you think, Skimbo, do you think Kiv has it in him to get points here? Uh, oh, that's a uh, bad throw. Uh oh, one on that's one. That's so fortunate. Wow. Challenging Byron Jones with Wolf card. Fuller? Two things happened there. He had him in a sack animation, he got the ball out somehow, and he dropped a pick. Two things just went completely against Mo. And, yep. But not a lot of motion. He's locked in on the next play, and that's what you have to do in these big games. You can't just flip out about that because you know you're playing Kiv. He's just going to try to bounce back just like that. A little mesh concept. Skimbo specialist right there. I know that's one of your plays, Skim. I liked it. Timeout taken. 10-7 the score. No timeouts remaining for young Kiv. In other Maddens, you might get off three plays here, honestly, without getting out of bounds. In this Madden, runoff. if he stays in bounds, he's going to get one more play after that because of the runoff. So if he stays in bounds, you're looking at this play and the next, and it should be done. So protect the sidelines if you're Mo. If you're exactly. going to send pressure, just make sure you can't get out of bounds. I'm sending everyone. Third and four. everybody. Here comes the pressure. It's picked up nicely. He finds D-Hop on a big hit on the 99 overall wide receiver. Fourth and four. And this is a danger zone for Kiv's defense because Mo has all three timeouts. And, and, how, and we've watched a lot of Madden this week. How many runs at the end of the quarters, the end of a game to oh. win? I know some of these players are so mad about that. You see a run pop off for a touchdown. Right. It ain't what it used to be where we're just going right. to try to bomb something. and It is hand the ball off. And, and as a defensive player, you are scared to death right, right. now. Right. It's like you either go, do you go with run D and try to shoot gaps, and then somehow they could break outside on a stretch and crib it? Or do you go quarter three deep where you could you have all the blocking in the world? Like Either way, it's a potential possible I, touchdown. And he has three timeouts, so he could run not just once, but possibly I, I, more. I'll tell you what I do right here. I just call. Well, well, he's in bunch tight. tight end, yeah. So he should do the cover two blitz to get someone coming in the backside. That's, yeah. Yeah, I agree. But cover two is very weak up the seams. It is. I'm here too. <gasps> oh, it's Zeke left side. How many runs have we seen popped off at the end of the half? Winding and weaving down to the 30-yard line. Mo in field goal range. No, not only that, he still has two timeouts. Yep. And if he has that same run right here, it's a touchdown. Yep. Excellent D, though, by Kiv to at least prevent the touchdown. Mo did his job. He's going to get points at the very least. Oh, man. A powerhouse matchup. This our winner's final. So happy to have you along with us on Belt Day. A beautiful Sunday here in Arlington. Nick Mazesco, lights out. Michael Skimbo on the call.
Both these players 8-0, looking to get to the grand final. Stretch left. First and 10 for Mo. Where's Darwin? I just want to watch Darwin on this play. I want to see him get busy. Fleming, That's a tackle, right? Fleming's getting his cardio on right now. Stretch and left. Darwin. He got it! Oh, he got blockers. Oh. <laughs> if he stays outside, does he get there? I don't know. That was close. That was close, but it's going to be a six-point lead, barring a block or somehow missed kick, which isn't going to happen. Skim, how different is it from Madden NFL 19 to Madden NFL 20? 28 seconds left, two run plays get you into field goal yeah, position. It's, different. It, it's not a bad difference, though. I mean, it, some stuff needs to maybe be touched, whatever, but it's not a bad difference, in my opinion, because I, I, I like defense. I'm going to try. I lab for weeks to stop the run. And so, you know, like, get your run defense out, to be honest. 13-7, the score inside the Pizza Hut Stadium. The and winner's final. I'll say one more thing, because a lot of these people, that's why if the run ever gets stopped, they're in for a long day on offense, because I don't think a lot of them can pass. Right. Hand off to Zeke right up the middle. Oh, He's running into on. his own blockers. That's a tough. That was unfortunate right there, running into the blockers. This is the perfect situation for Sirius Mo. Again, a defensive-minded player, a runner. He's up six with the ball. You know, when you're such a smart player like Mo, you typically don't lose these games. But Kiv is a is you a know hard what? He feels good right now. But I also am going to tell you he feels sick. Because how did score get his? Uh, how did Kiv get his seven on a kick return? Oh yeah, that's he didn't true. score. He didn't go down and drive. So Mo feels good being up six, but he knows he this like be a, a, or maybe a lot more right, right now. So of course he feels good, but it could be better. Second out and seven for Sirius Mo. In the second half. Oh, he had it. Final. Nowhere to go. Good tackle in the backfield. When you said had it, you mean his user? Because he hole. had it. And he, I get scared, man, because if I miss, they're gone. That's yeah, the last line of defense in this cover four because those safeties want to come down. If you miss the whiff, that hit stick, which happens a lot for some reason, when they like hit armbar right at you, like all of a sudden you just miss everything. I mean, it's, but if, it's gone. But if you run, like he was going and then he stopped, you could actually get juked out like that too if you ran oh, at him. You've seen jukebox yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Third and five. Clowny. Come on. All right, we got to see Mo probably pass here. I, I think Mo punts, man. I think Mo should punt, but what do I know? Skim, by the way, one thing that I don't want to overlook, how cool is it the first ever virtual stadium rights deal, the Pizza Hut Stadium, the only place you can play it here at the Madden Classic. This is a huge step for the game of Madden. Yeah, you know what? I just like Pizza Hut in general, so I'm down with whatever now. But uh, it's awesome seeing Pizza Hut and Starbucks. I mean, seeing all this stuff, seeing how competitive Madden's still growing and hopefully it just keeps growing. This is really cool for the eSport. All right, big fourth and five. Kiv could get a momentum-changing stop. Quick throw oh to Amari God. Cooper. <laughs> Comes up with the catch. The first pass of the day picks up a first down for Sirius Mo. Speaking of Pizza Hut right there, that was a saucy dot by Mo. Pressure was coming in. He had to make something happen. You could say that that was a, a bad throw, but he had inside position. I think that was okay. You got to get the ball out. You got to take your chance right there. He had inside position. I don't know if it's the most wide open pass in the world, but he had inside position. You're getting screamed at. You right. have to throw that pass, and you know you can actually come down with it. That's yep. not terrible. I like the saucy dot. A little saucy dot action. Pizza Hut. Saucy. I don't think it has a high percentage being completed, but I don't want people in the chat or anything. Uh-oh. Here we go. An open space. Yeah, but, I mean, if you're sending seven, you had no other option. Yeah. What do you do? Take the sack? You got to throw it. <laughs> Or some of these players I've seen throw the ball away on fourth down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I cringe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you were watching me play Madden? Yes, I So Zeke has his hey, X Liz, Factor, fellas. Scared. Zeke has his X Factor. First Madden, one free. Madden NFL 20 is scary. That pressure gets in the backfield. I panic. First and 10. Zeke with the X Factor activated. First one free. I keep up with you, Nick. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hand off to Zeke uh, right side. I also remember, I, I know suppose, I should be locked suppose. in, but when I lost to Spoto during that game, I, I took a look at the desk, and I see you on your knees during the game commentating. You were just like, get I, so I hyped. Felt, yeah, I fell down. You were like, you went to the ground like, ah. Well, I, I fell because RG punched me like three Something times. Something happened because I take a look, and you're on the ground during a game, and I'm like, what is he? I, I feel like I want to RG play. hits you in the booth. It's like a linebacker. <laughs> like, he doesn't take hold anything back. Have you seen Come on, baby. Oh my God, that's such a lucky block shit. Hey, have, you, have you seen oh, RG oh, play football, by the way? Like any kind of flag football? Oh, I haven't seen so him play lucky. football. I've seen him play basketball, and that man is okay. a havoc in the What paint. position does he, he play? He is. Uh, he will go moss you. 
<laughs> he plays Lane Johnson. We went out like two or three streak. years ago. RG is an animal. If I ever have captain, I do first draft, it's him. Four's up in the chat. We got a fourth quarter. Six point game in the winner's final. Even three right here is amazing for Mo with only five minutes oh. left. I've said this before, he should run the ball. He's ran the ball every time I've said it. I feel like he should run the ball here. Dive here, looks like, ooh, stretch. Stretch left side, does he got have it. room? He's got room, he's got a block! And Zeke's in go the end zone! Here. You go for two here? I don't know. How about the downfield blocking from this Dallas Cowboys O-line? The reason why stretch was better than dive, because like, on stretch, even if he gets tackled in the backfield, so what, you're still going to kick your field goal. If you stretch, you can pop Big off a touchdown. Play, right. If you run dive, you could get jammed at the line and get no yards. I love the call of stretch right there. What do you think he's going right here at two point? I think dive here. But, yeah. Passing it's play. It's a pass from Prescott. Ooh. He looks left side. He has Cooper, but he falls down inbounds and short of the line to gain. He had the in route open, I believe. There was... There was a route to the middle open through the flat. Fortunate that wasn't a, a pick six getting two points for Kiv. Either way, though, it would have still been two scores. As the kick is away, Kiv trying to find his offense. As let's take a look one more time at this run from Zeke Elliott and Skim. It's something we have seen all too often. This Cowboys O-line blocked so effectively. Yeah, it's third and eight. Love the call stretch. I mean, if you don't get it, you're going to kick your three and go up two possessions. However, he gets a touchdown. And man, Lights, Kip has yet to find his offense. Again, right. as, as we pointed out, his only score on a kick return, if there's a time for it to show up, this is it. Yeah, he's got to move fast right there. Great play going to the play stick. Uh, Mo was in a different defense on that one. Let's see how he adjusts. Kiv, though, got to get seven, and he's got to get it fast. And Mo knows this. This game's just so different than you can't let someone get a big play and get out of bounds in this Madden. You have to keep him in bounds. Good D. Great D right there. Young Kiv, Sirius Mo, both looking for their second belt. The worst thing that could happen if you're Mo is you let him score fast. If he's going to score, just you got to make that clock go down, down, down. Oh! And picked up Byron Jones. A leaping interception on the right side of the field. How good is Byron Jones? I mean, he is amazing. What's that ability called? Zoned that? out ability, if, baby. If you guys don't know about it, I mean, I feel sorry for you because... If you don't know about it, you probably haven't picked up the game. <laughs> Remember 91 zone? It's kind of like that. Yeah, it's it's crazy. You can see a quarter jump a five-yard out route sometimes. Yep. It's literally like you're in Madden, uh, what was it, 18. 18 with 91 zones. Again. Exactly. And now remember, this is the winner's final. So a loss, Kiv not out of this. He drops down into the loser's bracket. Got to win a couple more okay. games. The joy of double elimination. Yeah, and you know what? I think Kiv's defense has been good, but like I said, he feels like he has run defense. Just right. makes that one run to pop off. And Mo's had two or three of those. <gasps> wow. Was that your guy right there that picked oh, it up? Oh, that's Clowney. That was Jarwin. Jarwin, your boy Jarwin picked up the fumble. Like Jarwin. Did Jarwin come yeah. up clutch right there? Yeah. I'm telling you, they don't pay him enough. All right, so we got Boston Scott making a name for himself. We got Lane Johnson, and now we got Blake Jarwin. Hey, man, it's the little things. I want, a, I want an all-MCS team made of the guys who made big plays here in the championship series. Third and 11 Don't risk for it. Sirius Mo. Down the rock. He's just trying to shoot a gap. If he misses it, you might be out. Yep. Got Zeke on his right hip. Three wide to the left. Kiv manned up someone on the right side because his corner moved in. Timeout taken. Yeah, both, both these guys have only two timeouts left, but <laughs> pressure ramped up on Kiv. Yeah, and I was smart by Mo, honestly. He, he didn't have the right play, and now he has a healthy Zeke again. Yep. Interesting the motion that way. There's a lot more guys that side. If he is going to run the ball, I probably would want to run left. So he might be passing here. Ooh, good, good audible. I like it. This is the chess match you see in competitive Madden. Third and 11. Under four minutes to go in the winner's final inside Pizza Hut Stadium. Quick throw. The game's oh. over, bro. He had what the out happened route. there? Oh, I just got so cheated. <laughs> he had the out route. The game was over. Nineteen to seven. I like the mix of play action. You don't see much play action in competitive Madden. He made that look like an inside zone and had the out route open for the first down, but it hit his lineman. I mean, Skim, do, do you oh, agree so with Mo saying he's he's saying he got cheated there? Is that? 
Yeah, I mean, it does happen, and it's rare on play action. Sometimes the running back will go into your quarterback and cause something stupid to happen. I mean, I've, it's been around for years. But, but it, I don't – it's just so fluke, man. The it, thing it, is, though, I mean, you have a 12-point lead. You'd even be really caring. Like, the game should be over as, as long as you handle business anyway. Especially as the Dallas Cowboys. You have Zeke Elliott in the backfield. I know it was third down, but right. we watched him pick up a third and 18 right. with Zeke. I got to throw this out there because Mo is on another level right now. If you haven't noticed yet, he's moving Byron Jones to the wide side every time in a deep blue because he knows he will play extremely glitchy on corner routes and everything. So he is taking away stick with him in a deep blue on the right side of the field. Yeah, he's got that X factor activated, the shutdown ability. It's what makes Byron Jones so good. Second and two. Scared to throw oh, it. Ah, pressure and up the middle. Any yep. other day, Kiv, shook, Kiv is shook right now. He's probably going to get mad if he watches this later when I say it. But he is, and I would be too. Byron Jones just picked one in a deep blue, and now he's scared to throw it. Like, that That looked open, but right. you're just scared to death. Right. And now a third and nine for Kiv. Pressure once more, but a good block on Tank Lawrence. Watson slides down, and this is your ball game, fellas. Fourth down and the no huddle fourth down for <laughs> young Kiv. I think every fourth down's been no huddle, huh? <laughs> no need to call play. Let's just get back to the line. Fourth and three. Watson steps up. Byron. Looks right side. It's batted down. Is that GG's in the chat for Sirius Mo? Yes, sir. And not only did his user or whatever make a play, Byron Jones was coming down he there. Was, was going to leave his streak and go pick that crossing route. And it wasn't going to be open. And Mo looks like he's going to go 9 and 0 oh here at the Madden NFL 20 Classic and Lights Out. This has been a guy everybody has said is playing as good, if not better, than everybody here, and he's going to be in the grand final. Think about it, Henry and Mills. I know they're focusing on each other, but whoever wins that game has to beat Sirius Mo twice. Oh, and he just spun off a tackle. Look at Zeke Elliott go, like a freight train with no brakes. I I'm going to assume Mo's going to win, obviously. And I'll just say this: there's only one thing that's the downside of what's going to happen to Mo, even though he's in a great position. Will you get the cold hand being the winner's bracket, waiting to play the loser who might get the hot hand? Because he's going to have to wait for... Yeah, chill for a little bit. Right. What? Mills' game to finish up and the loser's final that Kiv is going to drop down into. So you got to wait two Correct. full games. And someone might pick up some good steam and have the hot hand and then come in there hot. I mean, that's the only... Obviously, he's in a great position. But if there is one downfall, it's that. But I think he'll be okay. But I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. And then also plus adjustments. If anyone's watching, you know, we got a lot of... Guys watching, seeing what Moe's doing, can there be a last second adjustment that could be made in the finals to possibly stop this yeah. run game? And on the other end, Moe's getting to sit back and watch what everyone else True. is doing so he can adjust in his head True. for defense. Yep. So it's just, it's a big challenge. Strengths and weaknesses. I know people are getting mad on the style of play, and you know, it is what it is, but it is at the end of the day still a chess match. Well, and, and Skim, looking at what young Kiv's path is going to look like, he's going to have a game to sort of digest what just happened. Do you like that coming off a loss, or would you rather go right back into the game and play again? I'd rather go right back. I won't play again. You know, just I'm, get back on the sticks. I like, I'm, I'm a grinder, man. I play a lot of Madden. I love to just keep getting my reps in. I miss, I miss when leaderboards were like top four and stuff like that. Like, man, like I could go all day on that stuff. I've never seen the top four of any leaderboard or anything. <laughs> Not even your CFM? No. Oh, man. No. I'm telling you. That's rough. I'm telling you, when Skimbo sits here and says, I'm watching people throw the ball away on fourth down, I'm sitting there going, ah, did that. Yep, did that too. <laughs> what not to do? Hop on in the stream. 22-7. I hope he's not really talking about me, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, was he watching? And look at this, another pooch punt to the left side. Young Kiv has been so good all tournament. And again, we're talking about like what happened with Henry. He took his first loss, bounced back. Kiv's going to have to do the same thing, and he's going to have a tough opponent, whether it is Henry or Mills. Right, and if anyone could bounce back and get out of the loser's bracket and then come back and beat Mo, it's going to be Kiv. I think this is a type of matchup where, you know, Mo wins his game kind of convincingly. The next time they play, Kiv could win by 14 points. So definitely Kiv is not out. Well, he's I'm going to say this if Kiv and Mo match up. I don't think Kiv's going to ever try to throw at Byron Jones, I right. think, and I would be the same way. I've been telling people I lab with, like, when it comes to salary cap, I tell them, like, I might get one of these guys because I see what they can do. And I know Kiv is going to be like, hey, I don't need to throw at that guy ever again. Well, the handshakes are in. GG's in the chat. Serious Mo moves to 9-0 and here at the Madden.